एंड आइडियल गैस गोस थ्रू आइसोथर्मल एडियाबेटिक आइसोथर्मल एडियाबेटिक आइसोथर्मल एंड एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेसेस द टेम्परेचर इज फॉर दीज आइसोथर्मल पार्ट इज गिवन एज टी वन टी टू एंड टी थ्री we need to find the efficiency of cycle if uh, in each isothermal expansion the gas volume increases in the same proportion so let's start with the first isothermal expansion so here if the volume is v1 then let's say at b point at the at this uh, state the volume becomes n times v1 so in the second isothermal expansion also the volume is increasing by the same amount so if volume here is v2 then volume here becomes n v2 so this is the information which is given to us and we need to find the efficiency so let's start with the definition of efficiency which is work by q in so here you can see that uh, for the adiabatic process q is 0 and for the isothermal parts here uh, the work done is positive here work done is positive so q1 and q2 are positive which means at these two points heat is taken in so our work is heat taken in minus heat taken out because at the end state when it's coming back here there is no change in internal energy so delta q becomes delta w so delta w is q1 plus q2 minus q3 so here we are using a mod so everything q1 plus q2 is also positive q3 is also positive divide by q in which is q1 plus q2 so we can write this as 1 minus q3 by q1 plus q2 now let's individually see what is q3 q1 and q2 so q3 for this isothermal process is n not rt1 ln n my bad that is q1 so <laughs> because we know the ratio of uh, v1 and v2 for this process so we know the heat is nrt ln v1 by v2 so for q, uh, for the process ab the q1 is n not rt1 ln n v1 by v1 which is n similarly for q2 it is n not rt2 ln n and for this process q3 it is n not rt3 ln ve by vf So we are using a mod, so that's why we have put it as Ve higher value divided by lower value Ve by Vf. So here everything is known to us; it's given in the problem. Here we don't know what is Ve by Vf. So we need to find what is the value of Ve by Vf. So for that we are going to use the these adiabatic processes. so let's make use of that so for the three adiabatic all three adiabatic processes we will uh, write the equations between temperature and volume because we need the ratio of volume and temperatures are given to us so for the process fa so that is fa so for adiabatic process we know th power 1 by 1 by gamma minus 1 into v is constant so at this point temperature is t3 so t3 power 1 upon gamma minus 1 times vf is equal to t1 power 1 upon gamma minus 1 into v1 now for the process bc so again t1 power this into nv1 is equal to t2 power 1 minus gamma minus 1 into v2 and for the process de so again t2 into uh, t2 power 1 upon gamma minus 1 into nv2 is equal to t3 power 1 upon gamma minus 1 into ve so we need the ratio of ve by vf so you can see here if you just multiply all these three equations so everything so you can see this uh, This T three power one minus one comma minus one will get cancelled with this. This will get cancelled by this. This will get cancelled by this. And even V one will get cancelled by V one. V two will get cancelled by V two. And what you get is V e by V f is equal to n square. So this is what we wanted. So we'll put that value here. 
So now if you put these values of Q1, Q2 and Q3 in our equation, we will get our answer. So this is the efficiency. All right.